Big Low 404 Boxing. All right, y'all. Excuse number three. Kale Brook was a shot fighter. All right. Kale Brook came into this fight with the two losses on the record. Two stoppages. One at the hands of Gennady Golovkin. Another at the hands of Errol Smith Jr. Those were back-to-back fights. Um, he lost to uh, Golovkin. Had the surgery. Rehab. Got himself together. Came in, fought Errol Smith Jr. Gave up a hell of a fight. Um, and got stopped. Basically, quit, had to quit in the fight to save his face, save his career. Since that time, he's had uh, three fights. Um, at 154 pounds, won all three fights, looked good at doing so, and was uh, coming into this fight with a lot of confidence, was calling for this fight, begging for this fight, and a lot of the same fans who were saying he was a shot fighter were calling for the fight as well, and were saying he needs to fight Kell Brook. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make this clear. I was one of those people saying I didn't want to see the fight. I made videos saying that Kell Brook, you know, doesn't know if he wants to make, want to fight or not because he keeps saying he wants to fight, but then he'll say he can't make 147 pounds. So I was like, he don't really want to fight. Um, because if you're fighting at 54, why call out a 147 pound fighter if you don't want to go 47 fighter? So with that said, I was saying that Kell Brook doesn't really want to fight and that I, it wasn't a fight I was clamoring for. There were other guys I wanted to see Bud fight, but there were a lot of people, a lot of those same people who don't want to give Bud credit now, they were saying he needs to fight Kell Brook. Kell Brook would be the first real welterweight he fought. Kell Brook this, Kell Brook that. Well, that same Kell Brook that y'all had so much confidence in, that confidence was in part built off of those wins that he had and the way he bounced back following his losses to Triple G and Errol Smith Jr. So you can't have it both ways. You can't in one hand say that the man is going to be Terrence Crawford's best um, opponent ever and that he's going to be his most dangerous opponent and that he's going to stop Bud Crawford. But then when he in turn gets stopped, all of a sudden he wasn't a worthy opponent to start with. Can't have it both ways. The shot excuse doesn't hold water. If he was shot, those guys he beat at 54 would have beat him, especially as a Rafa. So I don't want to hear that. D-Lo 404 Boxing, get a man's credit. I'm out.